Now for those hoping their homes will be safe from the fires near Winters. It's been a stressful 24 hours. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera made his way to the fire line. Along Pleasance Valley Road, a blackened landscape, a fence line burned, structures gone. No. But relief for Sherry Stroop and her daughter Christina Peretz. Stroop had to abandon her home of 30 years and her walnut orchard, but she learned from seeing pictures most of her property was spared. I'm feeling um, thankful, um, sad for some neighbors that I know their house has burned to the ground, so um, there's some that have lost their homes that I know. You can see just how close this fire came to this home. The fire came running down this hill here and then stopped, but unfortunately this boat was destroyed. Up above, Cal Fire Air Support assessed the situation for crews below. Many of the homes we saw directly in the fire's path were saved. I immediately wondered where my daughter and my kids were, and then, but power was out all of a sudden, so I couldn't get a hold of them. Sam and Shereen Maynard's home sits on Quail Canyon Road, close to where the fire started. It too was spared from the flames. All her family was safe. Huge relief, yeah. um, but also just we know all these people too. Yeah. And so these are like our neighbors. And just to think, you know, this, this property was just for sale a year ago. Yeah. And to think it just, it's gone. Homeowners we talked to had nothing but praise for firefighters. The devastation, though, tough to see. It's hard to see this valley burning. It's hard to see these fires.